The exterior door installation is going pretty well. The door is now in place. The shims are tight. I've trimmed them all off so they don't stick out. And now see this gap between the door jam and the rough framing? Well, now it's time to fill that. And I like to use two different products. You might choose to only use one. I use fiberglass on the inside like this, but I also use spray foam on the outside. Let me show you how to install it. The spray foam insulation that I'm going to use to insulate and seal this exterior door is very important. Get one that says it's flexible on the label. As the foam expands, you want it to stay flexible so that it doesn't squeeze the door too much and make the door get tight and not fit in the jam. Also, be sure that you only fill the gap about halfway. As the urethane foam cures, it actually expands and if you put too much in, it'll come oozing out of the crack. Let's get started. I'll show you how this works. It's that easy to use the foam. Look how quick that can happen. Now there's one last thing I want to show you. Once the foam cures and it gets hard, I'm actually going to seal the gap between the door jam and the sheathing with some of that special sticky flashing tape. And I've cut a small piece here just to show you exactly how I'm going to do it. I'll peel off the back and it's this special silicone paper. And then all I'm going to do once the urethane's cured is I don't want to come over all the way to this edge because there'll be some reveal. I just want it to lap about a quarter inch onto this prime surface and then the woodwork trim here will eventually cover it. But it will completely seal over this gap. And remember, once it's all done, I'll have one continuous piece all the way up to the top. But I just want to show you how we're going to do it. So imagine if this was one giant large piece. Now you can see how that's going to work because that, if any water were to ever get behind the trim, there's no way it would get between the actual sheathing, the rough framing, and the door, and it completely weather seals this opening in case any driving rain gets back behind that trim. Let's go inside right now and I'll show you how to put the fiberglass insulation on the inside of the door. Okay, we were getting ready to tape inside to show you the fiberglass, and while we were doing that, look what happened. Here's some of the foam insulation. I actually put it in a little heavy to be able to show you this. It's expanding out beyond the door jam. It's very sticky. I'm going to leave it alone. And once it cures in several hours, what I'll do is just take a simple razor knife and trim it off. And then I'll put that flashing tape on top of it. It's that easy to correct. But don't freak out if you see it oozing out like this. It just tells you that you put a little bit too much in. It's not the end of the world. I have to tell the truth. We finished putting the door in yesterday, and it got a little late to finish the job. I went ahead and already insulated it with the pink fiberglass so that cold air wouldn't pour in through the night. But I want to show you how I did it. So I went ahead and removed some right here. What you do is you take fiberglass insulation, narrow strips like this, and you rip off a piece that's a little bit longer than the gap that has to be filled. And then what you do is you want it to be kind of loose. You don't want to pack it in too tightly. And I like to just use a wood shim or some small stick like that. And you just start to stuff it in very easily. And the key is not to push it in too tightly. In other words, you don't want to pack it in. And you just fill the gap like that. And depending on how deep the door jam is, you might have to put in two or three inches. But remember what I did. I put about three inches of foam outside and we're going to have about two or three inches of fiberglass on the inside and this door will be sealed nice and tight and there'll be minimal air infiltration. And one final step too, if you're living in a cold area and you're worried about air infiltration, you can do the same trick inside. You can take a masking tape and you can actually tape over this seam before you put the woodwork on to block other air that might get inside the house. It's that easy to seal on exterior door. I'm Tim Carter for AskTheBuilder.com.